John Seam, what else have uh, people been talking about this week? Uh, Lance Armstrong. Is that something that's, uh, I feel like that's been popular yeah. over here as well. It's we've been, been, we've been, been very... chatting about it a little bit. American sportsmen generally, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys get American things here? <laughs> you get too many. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Treat. You can have that back. <laughs> uh, can I get a coffee? No, you can't get a coffee. You can have a coffee. You can only get a coffee if you bloody work there. <laughs> they get this. That's another American thing. The Easter Bunny. You've just opened a can of worms yeah. with me, man. <laughs> Relax, I'll talk to Mr. America. Oh, I'm sorry, all right, sorry, sorry. I think it's Captain America. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Give us the story. What happened with Lance Armstrong? There's a big report uh, just basically blaming him for not just being involved in doping, but sort of spearheading all the efforts for the entire uh, team. Yeah, he's ruined cheating for a lot of people. <laughs> it was something I almost admired sometimes. You know, someone's a bit of a cheat. You go, ah, it's quite clever to cheat, but he's just gone nuts. He cheated. Well, I think, I think he just to cheated to win the Tour de France. Yeah, but he cheated seven times. You'd think after you've done it once, you'd go, phew, I got away with that. <laughs> Carried on. It's the sheer energy for the cheating. I don't know where he got that from. <laughs> it's not just the steroids he cheated with. He had a testicle removed, so he was lighter yeah. as well. <laughs> uh, a Brit just won the Tour de France for the first time, mm. right? That was yeah. pretty exciting yeah. this past summer. Cavendish, right? Actually, no, English. No, it's Bradley Wiggins. No, it's not. What? I think Bradley Wiggins wins. That's what I said. What did I... What did you yeah. <laughs> so Mark Cavendish. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Usually, like, if someone gets caught doing drugs, it means whoever got silver got gold. But because so many cyclists are cheating, I got a call this week to say that I hired a bike when I was on holiday in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> and I've gone down, so I actually won the 2003 Tour de France. <laughs> <laughs> I bet there is drugs in boxing, though. Surely you've got to take paracetamol after, you, after a fight. <laughs> All those bashes on the head. Do you get well, a headache? To, to be honest, it's a, it's a hard... It would be a hard sport to cheat in. You could have all the, all the energy uh, in the world for boxing, but if you haven't got the technique and the skill to go with it, you know, you, you still can't win. Right. I think if you took enough heroin... <laughs> ..you not be bothered about it. <laughs> Nick, uh, you're a professional sportsman or drug taker, one of the f*** <laughs> off. <laughs> I think it's amazing. I, I respect him even more now that I know that he was doing drugs for seven years. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, did, I did drugs once and I couldn't leave my bedroom for a week. <laughs> I barely had the energy to get up and piss in the Coke bottle in the corner of my room. <laughs> he's run it seven times. I think that's amazing. Hats off to him. He, he was the guy that pretty much invented the charity wristband. What people don't know is it was just a tourniquet that had sort of slipped down. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look and see whether Lance Armstrong is one of the most talked about things in the last week. Yes, cyclist Lance Armstrong has been accused of taking performance-enhancing drugs. Suspicions were first raised when Lance Armstrong won the 2004 Tour de France on a chopper. <laughs> He's supposed to be there to talk about policies to solve problems. They had one policy that was interesting. They had their policy on burglars. Yeah. They basically said, if someone now breaks into your house, you can attack them. See, I didn't get that, because on the one hand, they're saying, we really want Britain to be aspirational and we admire people who take risks and go out and get what they want. <laughs> <laughs> and then on the other hand, they're saying, shoot burglars. My parents' house got broken into while I was in it. and By you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was in it. How could I break into it if I was in it, Jimmy? It's no logic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just can never speak, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Now, where you was really I? <laughs> <laughs> and I was in... I was upstairs and I heard some, like, real smashing around downstairs and, uh, and I came downstairs to see and there was, a, there was a masked man coming through the French windows and he was, like, halfway in and the only thing I could think of to say was... Excuse me! <laughs> <laughs> and then he ran off. <laughs> <laughs> I turned really posh. We're not... <laughs> really posh when I'm getting burgled. <laughs> I'm the gentleman crime fighter. <laughs> you certainly look like a gentleman. <laughs> what I do, if I have burglars, I've got a burglar's outfit by the bed. And I dress up in it. <laughs> and I go downstairs and I go, there's nothing out there. <laughs> <laughs> I've checked. 
Let's get out of here. He's got a big dog. He's a bit nuts. Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's get back to the Tory party conference. I feel a bit sorry for politicians, cos, like, it is hard, isn't it? Like, and they're always <laughs> evading questions, like, but if they were honest, and they said, like, well, what are you going to do with this? What are you going to do with that? Like, I don't know, mate. Right? No one's got any money, right? Everyone's pissed off. They're asking me to sort it out. The wife's got the ump, not seen the kids. I bought FIFA two weeks ago, not even played it. <laughs> That's why you can never have Homeland in this country, the programme in America about blowing up the government, because everyone would want him to blow them up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just one series. Oh, he's blown them up. New series. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> I think Homeland's kind of big here, though. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. pretty big, yeah. yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, we love a, it. Yeah, it's a great show. Massive yeah, hit. it's good. It's a shame they couldn't have found an American actor to play the lead, but... <laughs> <laughs> Could you look sort of troubled, as if you've got a dilemma going on inside you all the time? Could you do that? Let me check. <laughs> no, you look as if you're thinking about f***ing <laughs> 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 People think they could become an Olympic athlete if they trained every day for four years. True or false? That's a great question. Thanks. <laughs> I've been working on it, I'm really thinking about it. <laughs> when did you take up boxing? I was like, I was 12, so that was, that was a lot of years in the making, so I think four years of... Mm, it depends, it depends. If you've got a natural talent, then you might be able to pull it off. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Could you be an Olympic athlete? Four, four years is loads, isn't it? Four years is, four years is way too much to be training. Well, you like, think you'd go over the Olympic standard and just give up? <laughs> you go, well, this is crazy, I'm too good at this. Then, then, then Jamaicans learned how to bobsled in under 90 minutes, didn't they? So... <laughs> What do, you, what do you think, Sean? What sport would you go for? If you were going to try and get into, you know... Um, Olympic sport, probably pole vault. <laughs> That's the one I've got the most natural skill at. It's the one I just naturally find myself doing. <laughs> <laughs> just if I'm in a park with some equipment, I just find myself doing that. That's the one... It's I'll your go-to. Go. I'll just sort of go, I'll be, like, chatting around, just loosening up a bit like that, and I'll just pick something up and just find myself running, and whoa! <laughs> 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 Do that at school, pole vaulting. To get in. Bloody games! What day? So you had to do pole vault. It was one of the things that we had to attempt to do. That and long jump and hurdles. <laughs> 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 Why the giggle on hurdles? Because well, I'm obviously <laughs> at all of those things. 